Okay, so this problem uh, really goes back to something else we learned earlier in the semester, which is about transformations. Specifically, this problem only needs us to understand a horizontal translation. So I'm going to quickly review um, just the translations, horizontal and vertical translations. Um, I've graphed y equals x squared. That's a parabola. That's, your, that's what we would call a parent function. Not a parent, but a parent, mom and dad parent function. <clears throat> and if we know where the parent function uh, is located and how it behaves, meaning it curves up in this exact fashion, so that at 1, I get at well, x equals 1, 1 squared is 1, at x equals 2, 2 squared is 4, and all the points in between. And we get this smooth curve, we would call that a parabola. If I look at uh, approximately the vertex form of a parabola. Typically there'd be an A there, a coefficient in front of the parentheses, um, but I'm going to ignore that for this conversation. We would have these uh, constants H and K that would relate to translations. The H directly, when H is positive, it's a translation to the right. So if I change this H into a zero, oops, not there, over here. They change this to h to a zero. And I'm having trouble doing it because it's on my finger. And I change k to a zero. Then um, this function here is x minus zero, which is this x squared, plus zero, which is just x squared. So when I turn this function on, it should lay right on top of this red one. And so, pow, it's purple. And let me turn the red one off, and you'll see the purple underneath. Purple one, red one, purple one, red one. Okay, so it lays right on, right underneath the red one. But if I change h to a positive number, okay, I'm going to slide the slider to the right. It's going to slide my function to the right. Note that my equation has this minus sign here. This minus sign is part of the function. It's part of the equation. I'm affecting the location of x. Before I do anything else, I'm going to take x and I'm going to subtract or add some value, and then I'm going to do the rest of the function. This results in a horizontal translation. I'm essentially changing the value of the input before I do anything else. So I'm going to slide h to the right, making it positive, and that means that h is positive. It's a positive translation. When I list it there, h is 6, it's a translation to the right of 6 units. If h is 4, it's a translation to the right of four units. Okay. In the exact same way, k, if it's positive, is a translation up. And if k is negative, it's a translation down. So I'm going to translate it down four units. And h is not quite four. If I take k down to negative six units, that's six units down. So the exponential function will work in the exact same way. So let me turn these off and put on the parent function for the function that we're concerned with in the problem that you gave me. Because I can't just teach you how to do this problem. I need you how to deal need you need to need you to understand how to deal with all of them. So this one didn't have any change in the horizontal, meaning the k value is zero. We could typically have this plus k out here, but we don't. Oh, I put four, but let's say k. Um, but we don't. I'm just going to make it zero so that um, you can still see that it's there, but when it's zero, there is no vertical translation. But we're concerned about this h. Now, in your problem, the h was f five, but let's just look at what happens and observe what happens. If h is four, then I have four to the x minus four doesn't matter. It's the same. It's still this h is 4. It's going to be a translation to the right 4 units. So when I turn this function on, make it visible, we're going to see this anchor point, this 0, 1, is actually going to be over here at 0, 4. I'm sorry, not 0, 4. 4, 0, 4, 1. 0, 1 becomes 4, 1. So when I turn this on, Boom, 4, 1, right there. And if I slide h back and forth, you'll see this thing have a horizontal translation. There it is negative, so it's a translation to the left. Here it's positive, so it's a translation to the right. 
And if it, h is 0, there is no translation as compared to the parent function. So it's all about relative or comparative relationship with its respective parent function. That's how we deal with all of these functions uh, throughout uh, this level of mathematics. Okay? So hopefully that's helpful. Uh, your specific problem was 5, had h is equal to 5. So can you graph this function when, they're the, when it, it's exactly the same, but it's translated to the right 5 units? So what you probably need to do for that problem is plot the point zero, uh, 5 comma 0, and then you have to choose a second point. The second point can be any point in theoretically, but in practical sense, it needs to be a point that fits on the graph that is in that problem. So you have to choose an x or a y that will force the other number, the x or the y, its pair, to be within, I think, negative 10 and negative, negative 10 and 10 and negative 10 and 10, x and y, respectively. Hopefully this helps.